and welcome back to my channel, Jamie Fran Colors. I'm Jamie and today is Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Friday today, how fun. Um, today we are working Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel, Jamie Fran Colors. I'm Jamie, and today we're going to be working in our Nightfall book by Maria Troll to do our second video of our flower series. So today we're going to turn to page five. So right here at the front of the book, we're going to be doing one of these beautiful flowers. Um, this is called a Magnolia X... <laughs> Solangiana, um, also known as a um, a Chinese magnolia or a saucer magnolia. Um, it, I'm reading off my phone a little bit here. Um, it's a hybrid plant in the magnolia family and it is a deciduous tree with large early blooming flowers in various shades of white, pink, and purple. And it is one of the most commonly used magnolias in horticulture and is planted widely in the British Isles, especially in the south of England and also on the east and west coasts of the United States. So it is a tree and it is a very pretty tree. Um, let's see if I can show you a picture here that my camera kind of picked that up. So these very big beautiful flowers and they have quite a bit of color kind of down at the bottom and then they get very pale white near the top of the flower. So very pretty tree. So that's what we're going to color today. Let's make sure my reset the color here. So we're going to work today with our Prismacolor Premier Pencils and I have um, them all pulled out to do this beautiful flower. I think we'll do this, well, let's do this flower right here up by the bird. Alright, so everything I use will be in the description box down below with links so that you can find it. They are not affiliate links, they're just there for your convenience. and. Um, so you can find what you need, as well as on the screen right here will be um, what pencil I'm using when so that you can follow along and color with me and know what I'm using when I'm using it. So um, let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and do the branch first. So I'm gonna use a sand bar brown and I'm just going to lightly coat this branch. with this color. I want to leave maybe a little bit of highlight on the top of this branch right here. So I'm going to kind of leave it open for right now, not color it. All right. Then I'm going to take, um, this is sepia 948, and I'm going to put in a little shading here behind the bird as well as at the base of each flower. Here. here. I'm also going to put it in a little crook right there in the stem. And then I'm going to bring it down the inside of this branch. As well as along the bottom of this branch. I'm not using a lot of pressure, just laying the color down. All right, then I'm gonna go back over with my sandbar brown, this time adding a little bit of pressure. Blend it out a little bit. I'm gonna lighten my pressure though on the top of this branch so that I don't lose that highlight.
just like that. That gives us a nice branch. This is a tree, so those are going to be brown and not green. Okay, and then we have these leaves, and they are green. So I pulled a couple of colors here. We're going to start by base copy coating them in sap green light. Just light pressure, just getting the color on the page. If you have a hard, if, if you have a difficult time um, being light with your pencils, like if you grip them really hard and have a hard time, like softening your pressure, pull your hand back and hold the pencil way far back and you'll get a lighter touch. Okay. All right, then let's take our darkest green, which is gonna be dark green, 908, and let's put in some shading. So right down here at the bottom of each leaf, and then the leaf has a bend in it, so I wanna get under that bend. Here, because this little leaf is on top of it. Alright, then we're going to take Kelly Green 1096 and we're going to go over the dark green lightly and just pull it out a little bit. Go past that light green in, or past that dark green into that light sap green and just kind of, you want to fill the gap, you know? So you've got some highlights, you've got some mid-tones, you've got some shadows. very light with your pressure. You know what, I think this right here is a leaf as well. So let's just grab the sap green. Dark green. And that Kelly green. Okay. And then just go back with that sap green. Blend it all together. You can use a little bit of pressure this time. If your hands can't handle the pressure, that's okay too. Just keep your pressure light and go over it a few times till it looks the way that you want it to look. There we go. 
Now we have some leaves. Very pretty, very soft. I like it. All right, so the only thing left is the flowers. So if we look at our flower over here, the top is very light. And so even when I put my base coat on, I don't wanna go all the way to the edge. I wanna leave some white at the top of each leaf, okay? So we're gonna take, this is pink rose 1018, and I'm gonna base coat the flower, but I'm gonna leave the very top white. So this is a very light coat. Just leave the very tip there. And I'm gonna do that with each of these petals over here as well. Leave the top, or the edge white. This is just our base coat. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be kind of scribbled on there. It doesn't have to be meticulous. But if you like to be meticulous, be meticulous. There's no wrong way to color your pictures. However you like to color, however is most relaxing to you. Sometimes when I get too detail oriented, it becomes a chore and it's not as relaxing for me. But I know some people who love like the details and when they when they can concentrate on those little tiny things is when they're most relaxed. So do what is enjoyable. Yeah. Okay, so that's a base coat of that. Then let's take a purple. This is Lavender 934. And we're going to put this a light layer of this down as well. We're just not gonna go quite as far out as we did with the pink. So we're gonna keep, we're not gonna cover up all of the pink. Just a light layer. My pressure is really light and I almost feel like I'm kind of scribbling. I am keeping all my strokes in the same direction. I'm not going hatching or anything. I'm going in the same direction. Kind of moving with the petal. This is a pretty flower. I don't finish every picture that I do for mini series because we do so many of them, but this one I might finish on my own because it's just so soft and pretty. I really like it. Okay. All right, then let's take our next color, which is pink 929, and we're gonna do the same thing and just not take it as far to the edge. Just keep it a little closer in. Don't cover up all of that lavender. <clears throat> I'm still getting over a little bit of a cold, you guys, so I'm sorry. My voice just isn't quite what it usually is. It is on the mend though, so. I feel like I'm gonna survive and I slept really good last night. It's so hard to sleep when you have a cold, just so hard. So that was good that I finally got some good sleep. So yay for that. All right. I think as I'm doing this, I might wanna go back in and put a little more lavender in. will. All right, so I'm going to go back in with the lavender and put just a little more lavender in there. I can 
purple it up just a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty. I think at the end of this series we'll have quite a few just really pretty color combinations. Look how pretty that is. Love it. All right. Okay, then we're going to take our darkest color, which is Black Cherry 1078, and we're going to put this in the shadow area of our flower, so near the base. I don't even want to take it all the way up. I want this to stay kind of near the base of our flower. Come over on this one. I think I'm going to leave that alone. Just put this on the inside here. Let's put this a little bit, maybe a little bit lighter with it. Not put as much. In here, just lighten my pressure so that I get a little bit of a shadow, but I don't get as much color. I'm going to do that here, and maybe I'll do that around here too. Just a very light, a lot less color than we did at the base of the flower. Okay, then let's go back to that pink and I'm going to kind of uh, blend it out a little bit. So still no pressure, just laying down some more color. And I'm just barely taking it past the black cherry we put down just to blend the black cherry out a little bit. Okay, now comes the fun part. Okay, it's all fun. We're gonna take a white, 938, we are going to blend our flower out with the white. So this time I'm going to add a little bit of pressure to blend out that color. And I'm going to take it all the way to the edge of the flowers. I'm going to start down at the bottom of the leaf and work my way up and all the way to the edge. Just a medium pressure. You want to fill in the paper but not kill your hand in the process.
Look how pretty that blends that and softens it all up. So pretty. Blend it out. A little bit of pressure. Don't kill your hand though. No need for that. And this one over here as well. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Soft, beautiful blend. I love it. All right, let's put a little bit of lavender on our little bud over here. Let's do this real quick. A little lavender, a little pink. A little bit of the black cherry down at the base. And then a little bit of white to blend it out. And that gives us our beautiful Chinese magnolia. How pretty. Love it. So this one's just really soft and pretty. I really like it. So anyways, if you liked this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with a new video for you. Um, we're working on our flowers, so we'll have a few of those, and then we'll go into something else. So I hope you'll stick it around with me, and yeah, if you want to show me your flowers, then hashtag JamieFranColors on Instagram, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!